<laughs> Good afternoon. So just as a, well, yeah, this is the first slide. So I'm happy to be here. Just um, happy as well to be able to introduce you to our um, giving, well, an insight. We have been working for more than one year and a half with the emergency medical system. And uh, so happy to give you a couple of insights. We've been working throughout Europe, mainly in France, Belgium, and Czech Republic. And those are the, definitely our key learnings that we had using a telepresence system within the emergency services. So just to give you a, a context view, um, <coughs> we've been working on a lot of smart glasses and we're a sister company from Ubisoft, so we were just speaking before about gaming stuff. Definitely this helped us a lot to develop those kind of applications. Um, we're based actually in France and uh, we've been developing actually today two products that have been used in medical service. First one was actually tethering glasses, so either ODG, Google Glass, or Vuzix. On other laptops, this was definitely more for, uh, for a regular telemedicine situation, for instance, in nursing homes or any uh, for chronic wounds treatment. And we have as well another one which is linked to a mobile phone. Is, this is definitely the one that has been used in the medical emergency services. So just to give you an insight of how it looks like, so if you can up play the video, please. And um, here you have a vision of how it looks like within the French services. So those are yeah, real footage video. On the practical side, the glasses are lightweight when you put them on your face, on your nose. During the intervention, you totally forget about them. They don't bother you at all while you're taking care of the patient. We completely forget about the device. We forget about it. The other interest is really critical interventions. The ones I have in mind are mostly the interventions occurring during difficult child deliveries at home, potentially with the help of a remote gynecologist. We can be the eyes and the hands of the remote gynecologist. The experiment was quite positive. In fact, we realized that those glasses worn by our colleagues on the craft side they allowed us to com better comprehend and analyze the situation since we got to see it live. It allowed us to anticipate the necessary resources to implement upon their arrival. As we saw in the car crash earlier, we were able to estimate if a helicopter was necessary or not, or if a backup unit like other MDs were needed. It allowed us to confirm what we were thinking after the call. All right, so that was just the first video to give you first insight of how it, how, well, how it was used. So just to make it clear, we just have those glasses linked to a dedicated device and, I, and going through a network, actually, we are making through our servers, which are HIPAA compliant in the US, making, fully, making sure that we actually fully follow up the rules, medical rules in different countries. And then on the triage side, or for the um, remote observer here, he just need a web browser to be actually able to interact and to take control of glasses and to help the glassware on the field to make up the right decisions. So those are key features which really helps them are of course real-time communication, so this kind of vision that you had, definitely see what I see uh, vision. <coughs> and you're as, as well able, this is again something that we've learned with them that they as well wanted to be able to take some snapshots and to be able to interact on the picture so that they can actually easily share um, some share their learnings and share as well what to do and what kind of treatment to help. 
Last but not least, if they were as well able to, especially in the medical field, where they need sometimes have some specific medication or, or typing in the name of the patient to, for the records, they're always, always happy as well to get a couple of messaging situation. Um, we are working a lot as well with Prague, and this is one of the insights that we help and the use cases that, on which they are using the glasses are definitely both to help them on some specific cases, but as well to help them to, as training to help the no, novices and to get all the new guys to work on those glasses. And especially you know, when you have a long night shift never, and you have a lot of issues, you don't know how many teams you're going to have, so you're always happy to be able to as well to help and assist if you have some newbies. <coughs> this is an, another example that they had with a car crash, again, the motorbike. But those are as first sight, even if on the small accident, they're always really happy to get a first vision. And I wanted to go deeper on some of those kinds of details, so to get, give you what are the definitely interests of having this kind of situation for them. So let's take an example of a triage situation. So here, let's say this actually happened, it was in France, it was in February, it was a big icing day. And so in the morning, people are going to work and having a lot of car accidents. So we had three accidents in three different, well, places but in the same area. And so all of them, of course, calls uh, uh, 911. And here's a doc in France, a doctor was actually responding when it's em uh, medical emergencies. So he sends the first team, then for the second, of course, the second team and the third team. And how it works is that each team actually will do the first reports when they arrive. So of course, will, each of them will arrive at different timing according to how long it takes them to go there. And once the doctor is on the field, because in France actually we're sending doctors in the ambulances, so here we start to, uh, to make the first um, you know, treat, treatment to the patient. And in the meanwhile, he's not able to call or to ask any help. So, um, so du during 15 to 20 minutes, uh, the triage center has no idea of what's happening. And so in the meanwhile, he's of course asking, okay, w what are the available hospitals? What are the available OR operating room, which could be actually get and prepare to get this patient. And how it works today is that according, it's kind of a first in, first out. So, okay, first one, he's ready to go. Okay, I'll send him to hospital A, then second one, hospital B, and hospital C. But the issue here is that um, it's not always the best choice. And this is why you have a huge level of stress as a doctor here, at the triage level, just because he's not, because he doesn't have, well, he needs to make decisions according to the reports and according to a timing. He doesn't have all the reports at the same time. So he's not sure that he's sending um, the most wounded patient to the closest hospital. And so this way they were happy here to get those glasses. And with glasses, actually, um, once you get, you only need two or three minutes with this doctor to actually see what's happening. And then he can make the right decision of sending the ambulance to the right order. And so this is sort of definitely kind of cases, this or those doctors here have definitely big headaches in terms of logistics to make sure that they send the right patient to the closest hospital according to their own medications they need. So imagine, this was kind of easy situation, well, it was only three accidents, but imagine there when we're having such a terrible terrorist attack that we had in France, it was in late November 2015, and here you have six locations and you have a huge number of, of casualties. And in the meanwhile, you have as well stroke attacks and regular emergency services as well. So this is definitely a huge headache, how to manage all those and with a very well, a terrific level of stress. And so to try to manage this kind of situation, you try to anticipate. This is why here's the key learning that we are working with the French emergency services. This is our uh, training program called Plan No Vie Sec. Yeah, sorry, that's, that's um, schematics in French because I haven't been able to find out the right one in English because each one has a different way to manage it. But here, we're currently positioning the glasses at a different point because if you look at just the first sight on the red circle, so you have the firemen which are taking people out of where you get this issue. And usually the first wounded that you get in this hospital, the field hospital, which is the middle where they make the triage and then put people in the helicopter or in red ambulance to send them as fast as possible. Usually the first wounded that you get in those advanced hospitals are not the worst wounded just because they can walk and come by yourself and can see you. So those are definitely the point <coughs> where you need to um, 
have a good discussion and have a, a, well, a good link between your headquarters and all your command center and just to make sure how to manage this situation as much as possible and to let, lower your level of stress. So we've been working, we've already, we've already done seven big exercises with all the main cities in France to how to improve this. And what we can sell is that today with, when we have such a terrorist attack, such big ones, you have a, different, you have a, a command chain with different level of headquarters. And here, we, what we saw is that according, if we go up to a second level of headquarters, we already saved up to more than 20 minutes. So those are just first insights that we have, just because giving up a cool, a really nice vision of what's happening and making sure that they know what's happening, they know what, what's on the field and how to improve and how to, uh, to, to prepare all those kind of stuff and to be able to react. This is definitely the key element on which we're working. So today is only 20 minutes. Well, it's already 20 minutes, sorry. And this, but this is just the beginning because we're as well working with those guys how to improve all the human process, how to improve those by bringing this video and bringing assistance to those. So of course, nothing would have been possible without working with all those different hospitals and emergency services. So you find couple, most of them are, as I told you, in, uh, in France, uh, Belgium, and we have as well in the UK, and we're in Czech Republic, in Prague, and we're starting as well here to discuss with a couple of American uh, small, uh, hospitals. So those are just to finish here on a couple of testimonials. Um, those are two doctors from uh, the Prague Republic, and though they're happy definitely, to, again, today, um, don't forget that the emergency services were actually the one that actually invented telemedicine. Because well, as soon as, it, as the phone went out, we were able actually to get telemedicine, the other first one, and actually the most used one, because every day everyone is calling the emergency services. But they don't have today nothing else than the telephone. And as a medical um, well, scientific study says that a, a medical diagnosis is 80% based on your vision, because you're reading scopes, because you're seeing the patient. And here, too, so 20% is uh, your nose, your, your feeling, or what you hear. So definitely those guys are really already heroes, <laughs> but because they're only playing with a couple of percent to already take those decisions. So if we can bring them vision, definitely they are already he he superheroes. We're, we're trying to help them to become uber superheroes. So um, thanks for the, for the stuff. Uh, well, if you want any other more information, definitely we all those videos are on our website and our, our YouTube channel if you can get more information. And I don't know if we also have two minutes left. I don't, I don't know if there's any question or for, if it was clear or not. Sorry for, for my French accent. I hope it was good English, but uh, yep. Can you customize all of your, do you create your content and is there the opportunity to customize So the question was, do we customize and do we create our own content? The question. So actually today, we, all the software is ours and we definitely customize it for the different hospitals in different countries because each of the country has different regulation for terms of the triage emergency services. So we make all those adaptations to make it, uh, well, following the rules and laws of each different country. So definitely we're making customization in terms of, um, of all, all the triage rules that are uh, in those. Did I answer your question or? Yes. Yeah. Our goal is definitely to become, well, we're, we're a software company, so we're just buying glasses from those glass manufacturers. And that what we want is definitely to, to, our job is definitely to bring this content and to adapt it as much as we can to you know, your, well, those superheroes' job, to those doctors' job. Welcome. Yep. Mm -hmm. Can you save the images or the videos into the location medical record, or is it just to save or use on the fly? So this depends on how the hospital is ready to do because as well, HIPAA compliant and follows the rules, so we don't store any data on our own servers because those are medical records. But uh, some hospitals already have um, some data servers on which they could collect those data. So if they're happy, we're happy to, to save them and well, actually to push it to them so they save it for, for us. But those actually, so we have APIs to do this. But it definitely depends on how the hospital is mature or not to get those data and to keep those. Yeah, you had a question at all? Sorry, real quick. We can take that question. Yeah. I just want to bring up the next speaker up, okay. um, if you don't mind yeah, no, sorry, answering no, the question while the next speaker is just yeah. setting up. How do you mitigate risk with having experts making calls? You know, they're not there in person. You know, have you had incidents? Or yeah. Well, 
Well, actually, today we're just bringing uh, vision to uh, already working telemedicine situation where it's emergency services. So they're already on the call today. So they already manage those kind of risks. We're just adding an extra layer of what they use. So there's no real risk other than that what they have already today. Actually, we're lowering the risk because we're adding the vision so people actually will have a better understanding of the situation. So this way, on this part, it's pretty easy just because it's already something that, well, everything is uh, on the phone today. So it's not, it can't get worse uh, as it is today. Thank you.